Hi, this is Rajni Khan Mishra. Today we are going to discuss two of the most important theorems of triangle, the Stewart theorem and the Polynius theorem. Here, in this triangle ABC, AD is called CVN. Here, in this triangle ABC, D is an arbitrary point on side BC. If you join this point D. To the vertex of triangle which is A, then this line segment is known as Savian. And in case of BD is equal to DC, this AD known as median of the triangle. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss how to find the length of this AD if all the sides of triangle are given. But before that, let's take a quick view of previous lecture the centroid of the triangle. In that lecture, we already covered all these important topics, the centroid and the center of gravity, property of the centroid, right angle property of centroid, coordinates of the centroid, theorem and some important formula related to centroid and some problems based on the centroid and its property. You can check the link of the last video in the description box. Now. Stewart's theorem. In triangle ABC, the length of all the sides are given here. The length of side AB is equal to C, AC is equal to B, and BC is equal to A. Here AD is the CVN and the length of AD is equal to D. If BD is equal to M and DC is equal to N, the value of m and n are given. Then find out the length of d. Here we use the Stewart theorem to find out the length of this ad. We are going to prove the formula for it. Let angle ADB is equal to theta. Then angle ADC is equal to 180 minus theta. Obviously, because BC is a straight line and these two angles are a linear pair. Before starting this problem, we have to discuss a very important formula of triangle that is known as cosine formula. Let a triangle PQR in which PQ is equal to A, PR is equal to B and QR is equal to C. Then, according to cosine formula, C square is equal to A square plus B square, A square plus B square minus 2 into A into B into cos P. Okay. This cos P, let's see the pattern. This is angle P and these two sides A and B are the adjacent sides of this angle. Similarly, if you want to find the value of b square, b square is equal to a square plus c square, a square plus c square minus 2ac into cos q. And similarly, a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc into cos r. We are going to apply this formula in this triangle B, D, A. In triangle A, B, D, this C square is equal to M square plus D square minus 2 into M into D cos theta. Similarly, apply same formula in triangle A, D, C. Here b square is equal to d square plus n square minus 2 into n into d cos 180 minus theta. As we know cos 180 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta because 180 minus theta is in second quadrant and in second quadrant cos is negative. So this cos 180 minus theta becomes minus cos theta and this minus into this minus becomes plus sign. Here we have these two equations c square is equal to m square plus d square minus 2 into m into d cos theta and b square is equal to n square plus d square plus 2 into n into d cos theta. Now we have to eliminate this cosine term 
from both the equation. For this, we have to multiply equation 1 by n and equation 2 by m. Now, if we add these two equations, the 2 m and d cos theta and plus 2 m and d cos theta is cancelled out. Now, n c square plus m b square is equal to here n into m square plus m into n square m n common in next bracket m plus n plus here d square common and in bracket m plus n. Now, m plus n is common in both the terms. The formula is m b square plus n c square is equal to m plus n d square plus m into n. Here, m plus n is equal to b c, where b c is equal to a, put m plus n is equal to a. Here, this formula m into b square plus n into c square is equal to a, bracket d square plus m into n is known as Stewart formula. Here in this question, A, B, C, if A, B is equal to 4 centimeter, A, C is equal to 5 centimeter, B, D is equal to 2 centimeter and D, C is equal to 1 centimeter given and you have to find the length of D, then we will use this steward formula to find the length of A, D, forget formula, just see the pattern, this B square into M b square into m plus this c square into n is equal to full length of bc which is 3 into this c and d b square plus 2 into 1. This is your formula the cross multiplication b square into m and c square into n plus the full length of bc into bracket d square plus m into n. This is your steward formula. Here 5 square is equal to 25, 25 into 2 is equal to 50 plus 4 square into 1 is equal to 16 bracket 3 square into d square plus 2. 50 plus 16 is equal to 66 by 3 is equal to d square plus 2. 22 d square is equal to 20. d is equal to under root 20 or under root 4 into 5. Finally, d is equal to 2 under root 5 centimeter. Now, Apollonius theorem. In case bd is equal to dc, if bd is equal to dc means m is equal to n, then ad is known as median of the triangle. Put n is equal to m in this formula where m is equal to a by 2 then m is common bracket b square plus c square is equal to 2 into m where a is equal to 2m bracket d square plus m square here mm is mm cancel out now b square plus c square is equal to 2 into d square plus m square here d is the length of the median let in this previous example where c is equal to 4, b is equal to 5, bc is equal to 3 centimeter, then m and n obviously is equal to 1.5 each. And here we have to find the length of ad. According to formula, 4 square plus 5 square is equal to 2 into d square plus 1.5 square. 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25. 16 plus 25 is equal to 14 divided by 2 which is 20.5 20.5 is equal to d square plus 1.5 square is equal to 2.25 d square is equal to 18.25 
then d is equal to under root 18.25 centimeter this is the length of this median ad now this is your homework problem it will be discussed in the next video here ap bq and cr are the medians of this triangle abc if the length of ap bq and cr are given which is 6 cm 4 cm and 5 cm respectively then first question you have to find the value of ab square plus bc square plus ca square means the sum of the squares of the sides of this triangle and the second question is find the area of this triangle abc keep in mind you have just 30 second to solve each of the question if you want to join my zoom classes then check out the description for all the details thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any important update